Hi, today I'm dealing with the specific situation that one of my clients has. I have a client who is a distribution customer and part of their process is they take all of their back order invoices um, that need to be filled for the day and they transfer them to an order, print the order and the packing slip and then fulfill the order. Now, in doing this, it takes them sometimes up to two, two and a half hours if they have to print about 50 of them because they're doing them all one at a time and dealing with it. So my recommendation is we create batches to help solve the scenario. So right now, I'm in the sales order processing navigation pane for, and I've created this custom one for just back orders just where the statuses work so I can see all of my back orders. And because I have Business Analyzer and SharePoint installed, I can actually see as I click on each of these reports, my Business Analyzer reports over here on the right will change along with the information for the client um, that is specific or the invoice or document back order that is specific for each of these clients. So I have the paper list where someone's printed and said these are the ones we're going to fulfill today or perhaps it's done by requ uh, request date which I could also narrow down up here. So what I'm gonna, suggesting to them is that they take these back orders and instead of pulling them up one at a time and transferring them to an order, we pull them up one at a time and we just change the batch to a new batch for the today. So I'm going to, for example, start with Advanced Paper Company. I'll pull it up and instead of transferring this to an order right away, I'm just going to change the batch to be, for example, today's batch. And I'll add the batch on the first one. So now it's a brand new empty batch. I'll save that and close it out. So I'll then go through all of the items on my list and add this new batch that I just created or all the back orders so that I get the back orders that I want to be included in this batch. So today there only happened to be three. So now what I can do is then just go to my sales batches and pull up this batch and you can see I have three documents in it. And I can now transfer them in bulk to orders. So they're all back orders and I'm going to transfer them to orders. I can tell it how I want it to handle any kind of um, shortages that may arise, and I'll click on transfer. And since I'm doing a batch, I will print it to the screen, that log report, and I can see that all three of my back orders have indeed transferred successfully to an order. So now I tell the person who prints the orders and the packing slips that I'm done with the batch. I've, I've selected the ones that are going to be filled today. He, at that point, can come in and select the batch and then print the items in bulk. So he can print the orders, and I always like to, when I'm doing a batch, tell it to reprint any. And he could print the packing slip, and again, I like to choose reprint any. And then I'll choose print, and then it'll print them in mass. So instead of doing them one at a time, it'll print it to the screen. Now the only downside would be that the document, let's pull up the order form first, happen to open on a different monitor. Okay. The only downside would be that the documents will print in separate batches so you won't have order packing slip, order packing slip, but they will be in the same order. So the oh, same one will always be on top. So you can see we have advanced paper company and you can see this one item, a four gig hard drive. You could see Alton, we have an answering machine and then another advanced paper 4 gig hard drive, we've got a couple of two of those. So here is this this particular order and it's order 2243. So if we now look at the packing slip, the packing slip also is 2243 at the top for um, advanced with 4 gig hard drive and so forth. There's Alton again and advanced again. So this is a much faster way of dealing with printing and transferring rather than doing them one at a time, create, move them to a new batch and then deal with the batch in mass. I think you can do a lot faster processing. At that point, once you know all of the orders have been packed and shipped or ready to go, you could then just transfer them again in mass from orders to invoices. And we'll print the log to the screen and they've all successfully transferred. So at this point, we can then pull the batch up 
and print the invoices again in mass. And we could print them either to the printer or email them. So we could decide which we want to do. And then we'd print them out. I'll print these to the screen. Here are my invoices. And if for some reason one of them didn't get fulfilled, we could simply just move it back out of the batch into maybe a generic batch. And then now, in mass, we can post this whole batch. And this is a great way to handle transactions in mass. So if you're working in volume, it's significantly faster than doing it one at a time. So that extra step of moving it to a common batch, you will save it multiple times through the course of the process of fulfilling the item, packing it, shipping it, invoicing it, and posting it. Much faster processing, and I hope this saves you time. Thanks.